Hello and hey, this is Zero Goken Reviews, and today we're looking at the 1000 Toys Inui Juzo from No Guns Life, which is a manga that was adapted into an anime that I didn't watch. Until I got this figure. I finished both seasons within 24 hours, and despite it being a bit bullshit, I did enjoy it. The show is about a noir detective who has a gun for a head, and along with Narancia and Hibiki, they occasionally investigate crimes. Sort of. It's mostly about him having a gun for a head, which isn't necessarily bad, but the show does feel like it should be a lot better than it actually is. Which sounds a bit harsh, but I don't really know how else to explain it. To its credit, there are some things I do quite like about it. It's animated by Madhouse, so the animation is pretty good for the most part. Sci-fi settings where people are for some reason over-the-top cyborgs is an aesthetic I really like. The main character is voiced by Junichi Suwabe, which means that this is probably the closest I'm going to get to an articulated dandy figure. I also like how, instead of being about what does it mean to be human? It has a theme of how people end up being taken advantage of, and driving that is the main character who doesn't want to be used as a tool. So it's actually really profound that his head is a gun that he can't fire himself. Someone needs to fire it for him, because it's not possible for him to pull the trigger. Oh. I think you get what I mean by bullshit now. It's a good theme. However, there's no part of your body you can't reach with your hands. You're gonna need to make some holes, but you can grab your internal organs. I believe in you. Although maybe his neck is too dummy thick to reach it. Okay, I don't know why he doesn't use his gun head, but he does have another trigger, which he actually can't pull himself until he can. Again, bullshit. There's also for some reason the usual anime bullshit, particularly with specific shots being prevalent. If you want to do this, then fine. I've reviewed hentai figures, but it really doesn't help the more serious tone your show seems to want to have. Speaking of bullshit, this box is fine. Probably the biggest reason I actually managed to watch the entire show was that Juzo is just really nice to look at, especially with Madhouse's animation. Like, I bought this without even watching the show because this design is just great. And I think they did a really good job at adapting this into figure form. The shapes, the proportions, and colors are really nice. I think this looks a lot better than the Figma, which is good because that might not ever get made at this point. Honestly, this isn't an amazing figure, but it feels pretty nice and looks really fucking cool that I just want to pose this chunky robot daddy. Oh, yes. A cool little detail I noticed was that his fingernails were given a glossy finish. And I guess while we're here, the joints look decent. I'm not huge on the separation for the pants, but with the articulation in mind, it's probably the best solution for this. Although some people really don't like the knees for the 1000 Toys figures. I think it's because they're a bit ugly, since they don't have a knee covering the front of the joint. Which is a fair perspective, but I, I don't really care. I guess it might look better if it matched the color of the legs. But painting the joints would be no less than folly, and no more than utter stupidity. The other contentious addition to the 1000 Toys figures are the cloth jackets. But first... So this is an assembly. This is disassembly. I'm not the biggest fan of cloth clothes on figures, but he does show up enough without his coat that I think it's worth having it removable. Like, it's almost always off when he fights, and he doesn't have it for most of Season 2. Although you do also see him naked for a bit. I am now convinced that this is a tragic character. But yeah, I don't really have a problem with the coat. It also has wire through all the edges, which is nice. I guess I can also say that about the articulation. I really like that this mouth can open. It's actually pretty clever too. Although if you force it too far, his upper lip will eject. But otherwise, articulation is generally pretty good and feels pretty good. Although for some reason his hands are only on a very limited ball joint instead of something like this. It does make it easier to replace the hands, you would think. But because these are rubber, I had to loosen them up first. Uh, so accessory section is over. That's it. You just get hands. Okay, no, this isn't a... It is a hand, but it's not his hand. It's a hand robot thing that first appears floating and then grows feet and never floats again. But yeah, aside from these paper craft cigarettes that I'm not gonna bother with, that's all you get. I can't really think of much that I'd like him to have, aside from a manual. I like how his flustered head looks. It's funny looking, but it's also not a part of the show I liked. 
I just don't think the show is heavy enough to need this kind of comic relief, so it ends up feeling out of place. His other form would probably be a hassle to make, and would add like 5,000 yen to the price. It's not something I care much for anyway. Speaking of not caring, Sentinel... Stan... Psych! Aqua, Mazinger, Gurren Lagann, Shin. Overall, I wish Wachowski got Wachowed. Watch out! I also quite like this, although being a Sentinel priced thing means it's not an easy recommend. So we're we'll gonna have to go for the classic, I can recommend this if you like how this looks and don't mind the price. Otherwise, uh, no. That's about it, thank you to the patrons, and I'll see y'all next time. <laughs>